Today I'm working in partnership with Sony Pictures to bring you this Sharp Bite special effects tutorial. It's inspired by Blake Lively's new film, The Shallows. I'm not dying here. These are the two looks I created. I filmed one on my arm up close so you can see the technique and I created the one on the back off camera to show you an alternative bite using the same technique. I'm using distilled witch hazel to remove any oils from the skin. And if you are sensitive, you can then go in with something like Pro Shield by Krylon and this will protect your skin when working with FX materials. I'm taking a red pencil. The one I'm using is a face liner pencil by Krylon but you can use any red pencil that's suitable for the body. And I'm using that to map out the areas where the teeth have sunken into the skin. I went onto Google and found two real life shark bite images as my reference. So the reference image that I used for my arm bite was a lot smaller than the one I used for the back. From the size of the lacerations on the arm in the photo, they're all a lot smaller than the one on the back so I would assume that it was a bite from a smaller shark. The deeper cuts are at either end, that's why we're going to make those more triangular and we're going to make those deeper. The main product we're going to be using is Rigid Collodion. This is mostly used in FX work to create scars. Having used this a lot over the years, I knew this would be perfect for sinking in the skin. I'm painting this on in thin layers and then leaving it to dry. So the formula is like a plastic and as it starts to dry, it shrinks and it pulls the skin in with it. And then you want to layer this product. Now you do need a lot of layers to do this, so patience is the key. Once I put the first layer on, I then moved on to using my Sigma FX11 brush, which has got a silicone tip. You don't want to use one of your nice brushes because it will ruin the bristles. What's great about the silicone tip is the plastic just comes straight off of it once it dries. I would have loved to have filmed the big back piece, but I found that when I tried to do it with the camera, you couldn't see the detail. But by filming it on my arm, you can see the technique up close and you can see how the rigid collodion really pulls that skin in. Now if you've never worked with Rigid Collodion before, a little warning is that it can be a little bit uncomfortable. Some people it absolutely doesn't bother, but for me I find that the pulling of the skin can be a little bit uncomfortable. But fear not, it is safe for the skin so you don't have to worry, just make sure that you have the correct remover for it. So after about 10 layers, this is what it looks like. I'm now taking 99% isopropanol alcohol, also known as IPA, and I'm going to use that to work with my alcohol activated skin illustrator paints. The first brush I'm using is by Sigma, it's my FX5 Duo Fiber Brush, and I'm dipping that into the alcohol and working that into the Coral Adjuster mixed with a hint of the Rose Adjuster, and I'm really diluting that with the alcohol. And I'm going to be using these colours to create the pressure marks on the skin. On the reference image that I've got, you can clearly see the outline of the shark's mouth and there's no broken skin or blood, it's just a pressure mark. So that's why we're going in with these two colours to make it look like the blood's come to the surface but not like a bruise. So I'm using a stipple motion with the brush to pat that onto the area following the reference image and then I'm using my finger to pat the colour in. We want that mottled appearance, we don't want anything that's too uniformed. And we also want to concentrate a lot more of that colour on the outer edges where the pressure marks were a little bit more intense and where those lacerations are deeper. It's important to keep checking back with your reference image to make sure you get this as realistic as possible. When we think of a shark bite we think of something really gory, loads of blood, but if we did that then you would lose a lot of the definition and you wouldn't see the detail. A lot of the reference images online are of shark bites that have been cleaned up, they're still fresh but they're very clean and you can really see all that definition. When it comes to special effects work, it's easy to get lost in applying loads of blood and making it really gory, but then you can't tell what it is that you started out creating. So if your reference image isn't covered in blood, stick with that. Go with how it realistically looks. We now want to create some depth to each of the lacerations. So I'm going in with a mix of the aged blood from the Skin Illustrator palette and also some of the blood tone, and I'm putting that into the lacerations. The brush I'm using is my Sigma FX10 brush. And I'm using the very tip of it to paint around the outer edges of the lacerations. We don't want to paint the entire surface one tone, otherwise it will look very flat. You need to be aware that there are different layers to the skin. Underneath the epidermis is a layer of fat, there's also muscle, so you want to see texture in your lacerations. Now I'm mixing together a few different colours including yellow and white. 
and using the very tip of the brush I'm going to stipple that onto a couple of the bumps inside the shark bites. This is going to look like fatty areas of the skin. So remember it's about creating tone and texture but following your reference image. For instance the one I created on the back didn't have any fatty areas due to the shape of the bite. Now I'm mixing a little bit of aged blood with black and I'm using this colour to create depth so it's going to make this area of the lacerations look like it's the deepest part. Remember to keep your paint quite diluted with the alcohol and layer the product up to build up that colour. If you're going with something that's too intense, clean your brush off with the alcohol and go in with a damp clean brush. Once you're happy with the painting that you've done in the bite marks, you then want to go back in and just make sure that that pressure mark is dark enough. Sometimes you find once you've added in the paintwork to other areas, the original colour that you've applied needs to be darker or needs more detail. To add a glossiness to the cuts to make them look like they're open and they're fresh, we're going in with TV blood. I'm using the lightest blood because this one would just give a slight wash of colour and it's not going to drain away any of that paintwork that we've put in, it's just going to give us that wet look. So remember you can apply the exact same technique to any part of the body. On this one you can see I've added a bluey purple tone to make it look like the skin flaps have got blood under them. So remember to go and see Blake Lively in her new film The Shallows which is out in the cinemas on the 12th of August. If you've missed any of my previous special effects tutorials you can click on these now and it will take you to those. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. They're all at Shammy Makeup and you can also follow me on Snapchat. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!